Today we're going to be talking about how to cook a whole chicken. We're going to shred it. We're going to make really good barbecue chicken, but we're going to use our oven because it's still a little bit cold outside and we don't always have access to our smoker. So I'm just going to show you an easy way to make a chicken right in your oven, good barbecue chicken, and you can serve to your family and friends. Okay, so to get started, Let's start with our tools. We're going to need a baking sheet right here. I've already wrapped it in aluminum foil. Then we're going to need some rub to put on our whole chicken. And our rub is a mixture of our poultry rub that we use for chicken, turkey, and then uh, we also add a little bit of chili pepper and um, some crushed red pepper as well. And then we mix it all up in here and this will be a about enough to get us through with our chicken. You see we have we have a whole chicken here. Uh, it's about 1.7 kilograms, so a couple pounds. And uh, we're just going to add the spices right onto the chicken, create a nice layer. And then after the, that, we'll throw it in the oven. A couple tools you'll probably want to have as well. A good knife, uh, extra plate, uh, an internal internal thermometer so we're going to use this thermometer to um, test the internal temperature of the chicken and then afterwards when we start to shred we're going to use these they're called bear paws we're going to use it to shred up the chicken and i'll show you how that's done at the end okay so adding the rub onto the chicken so i've already washed our chicken and then i dried it with some paper towels so now it's relatively dry and then we're just going to take some of the rub while it's in this bowl and we're going to add it on here and uh, don't be afraid to add quite a bit on there the bowl's going to catch a bunch in the bottom and then we'll use it to get the underside so we want a good coating all the way around on all the skin and uh, you'll see we want to get some of that red pepper in there and uh, and this rub is really just going to give most of the flavor of the chicken uh, the chicken's gonna have a thick skin and so that skin's gonna be really crisp and tasty after we get done slow cooking it for about four hours the great thing about uh, doing a slow cooked chicken in your oven or in a smoker outside is that when you cook it really low temperature for a long time it stays super juicy because the skin is going to keep all that juice inside the chicken but it's going to to get it up nice and hot but once we cut it open later you'll see it's going to be super juicy and really really tasty and then we'll add some barbecue sauce after we shred it so you see i got a really good layer here and uh, we'll spread that all around and then soon we'll go ahead and put this in the oven okay so we've taken our chicken and we put it on the baking sheet um, you'll notice that I have pulled the wings out a little ways and the legs out. And the reason is, is we want a nice even cook while the chicken is uh, baking in the oven. Um, so everything gets done really well. Now we've set our oven for 125 degrees Celsius. It's going to be about 225, 230 for uh, Fahrenheit. But uh, so for us, uh, we're using Celsius. It's 125. It's going to cook for about four hours. We're going to leave it alone for the first two hours and then after two hours we're going to check on it and probably take some of the juices that have accumulated on the foil and try to brush them back onto the chicken okay let's get this in the oven So we've hit two hours, so we're going to go take a look at the chicken. I'm going to grab this out of here. And we see we have a little bit of juice along the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take just a pastry brush and we're going to get some of that juice and we're going to baste it right back onto the chicken. One side done now. I'll turn this around. And 
and so you're just going to brush it on and then we take a little bit of apple juice and a sprayer and uh, the apple juice because it has natural sugars in it uh, we we'll assume they're natural uh, it's going to create a nice little crust on the top as this continues to bake for another couple hours so just a little bit in a spray bottle as you see here we just put a little apple juice in there and then spray it on and then we're going to let this bad boy go ahead and cook for another couple hours. We'll check on it in about one hour and rebaste it. But uh, next time we see on the film here, we're going to be pulling it out and start shredding. All right, so we think our chicken's done. It's about four hours in. I'm just going to go ahead and take a temperature reading just to make sure that we're above. 156 Fahrenheit and that'll make sure that the chickens uh, warm enough to eat I checked it about an hour ago and it was uh, already well above 150 but we've let it cook a little bit longer and for the last 40 minutes I turned the temperature down to about uh, 50 degrees Celsius just so we keep it warm and as you see it's hitting right about 155 now and uh, 156 that's our timer so we'll go ahead and pull it out and you see we have a beautiful chicken here looks fantastic now that we have our chicken here I'm gonna go ahead and use the bear paws here just to get a hold of it and move it we're gonna put it in this pan right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the leftover juices and just baste the top of it get it moist before I start cutting the wings and the legs off of it. So, just use a regular butcher knife. I'm just gonna slice those wings off. And you see how juicy the chicken is inside. We have a nice crust on the outside, the skin's nice and tasty. The wings just falling off the bone here. Look at that. It's just beautiful, moist, white chicken. hardly have to cut it's just fantastic wonderful stuff there so I'm going to take this and I'm going to start to shred it and we're going to add some barbecue sauce you can use whatever barbecue sauce you want uh, we had some barbecue sauce that I made up the other day and uh, so we have that right here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our bear paws and we're just gonna start shredding some of this breast meat and thigh meat that remains. I'm just gonna pull it away from the bone. And these bear paws are really good for pulling pork and tougher cuts of meat, but they work just as well with the chicken. pull it away from the bone and shred this up and you can serve this however you want we're gonna pull it and 
and just created some shredded barbecue chicken but uh, if you want to cut it in a traditional manner and uh, serve it up like Thanksgiving style almost you know you're welcome to do that of course but we're gonna add some barbecue sauce to it and it's gonna make it really tasty for some sandwiches or just serve plain with a little bit of bread and and the sauce and make for a real tasty meal and I think uh, this chicken is a couple pounds it's about I think it's about three pounds it'll serve about five or six people for a meal or you can eat what you want and then you can uh, save the leftovers so we're just going to pull this portion out set it on our plate and as you get down to the finer pieces of the bone you can use a fork to pull a lot of this away and this is really hot right now away and grab a fork here pull some of this off and this is you can just see in there how juicy and white perfectly slow cooked the chicken is absolutely beautiful so again you know, it takes about four hours to cook, but it took us about 15 minutes just to prep it. And it's taken us another five or ten minutes to get it uh, all ready to serve. But it just peels right off the bone. And by slow cooking it at low temperature for the four hours, we're getting a really, really good chicken. Lots of great meat. You can see all this great meat in here. And, uh, comes right off the bone and be ready to eat right away and what you don't eat stores up really nice make some sandwiches later so we'll tr now that we have some of this separate I'll go ahead and try a couple pieces and see how it tastes let's go ahead and grab a good piece here really yummy stuff this is good stuff so again we use the barbecue sauce just add some of that in as we shred it up gives it a little color and flavor in this case we didn't use a real spicy sauce because we have some guests that are coming that that aren't into the real spicy but uh, you, know, you flavor it up the way that you like and uh, and it's super delicious. So great stuff. And I always save the wings and the legs because. It's just delicious eating right there. Mm. So, let me know how yours turns out. Put some comments uh, at the bottom. Tell me what you think. And uh, we'd love to hear feedback and uh, like to hear your little twists that you put onto your recipes. But this is the way we do it. And uh, it's great stuff. So, thanks for joining us. And, uh, We'll see you next time we cook something else that's pretty yummy and delicious.